So what are we off to now? We are off to the Crooked Slide Park. So this is a reconstruction of an original log chute on Byers Creek, which was used by loggers in the early 1900s to float logs from various small towns, including Wilno and Berries Bay down the Madawaska River. There's a bunch of bends in Byers Creek and the um, at the mouth of the log chute, the logs, when they were going through these narrow bends, they'd get all jammed up. So in order to prevent this, the chute was built and the water was diverted through the chute, through control dam. And the logs would float approximately 220 feet in the chute and then fall 10 feet back down into the creek. It was first reconstructed in 1973 and then again in 1994. Ooh, cool. Cool. So it's bypassing those rapids over there. Mm -hmm. Let's follow this trail. Yeah. How many drive times have we driven past this yeah. thing? <laughs> dozens and dozens and dozens of times. See how high the water gets in the spring, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll put them in the spring. Check out how much water is coming out of that. Why this sort of ramp thing here? Yeah, I don't know. What? Yeah. Hey. And the out ramp must be to minimize erosion right at the base of the dam there. pieces of grass or whatever just hanging on. <laughs> well watered. Yeah. I guess they would have had a log boom across here to stop the logs from trying to get through this and then what men would just shove them into that. Mm -hmm. Is that a fever dam up there? Oh yeah. Looks like it's a uh, constant battle against the beavers to <laughs> keep them from plugging up this chute entrance here. Look at wow. all that. Yeah. brush there it's all beaver cut and they've already started filling in it, it in again there <laughs> that's why there's so little water coming through there yeah. that size of these cedar trees isn't it that's a big one but it's like probably hollow in the middle. Can get the falls? No, it's just following the Fall. place. Following. The kids swimming. <laughs> Why aren't they going down the slide? <laughs> Over there too. Yeah. How did you get 
it over there? I just stepped across. Oh. I'm standing there waiting for you, and I'm thinking, no, oh, I guess he's <laughs> taking video of something. The water's going faster than us. Going this fast. The things you find in your own backyard. <laughs> when you take somebody that doesn't even live here to tell us about them. Yep. So that was another cool find. Yeah. How many times have we driven by this place? Countless. And I uh, had no idea this was here. No idea it was here. Just thought it was another one of those little roadside picnic Park, areas. Yeah. Rest stop. Yeah. That you just drive past. Yeah. Anyway, it was pretty cool. And it's it's not all roped off. You can actually yeah. walk out onto the rocks. <clears throat> It's not deep, it's the water's not running fast, so, I mean... Those kids were having a blast playing yeah. the uh, water coming out of the chute there. Yeah. Very neat. Well, that is the end of envelope number two. <laughs> Obviously not enough time in one day, or one video, to do all of this. All the envelopes, yeah. In one day. So, but, that just means we have to go out again, Yeah. right? So, I'm looking forward to that yeah. the continuation. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, and uh, hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell as well, so you get notifications each time we yeah. release one of these super exciting videos. <laughs> and leave us a comment. Tell us what you thought about our exploring our own backyard. Yeah, people need to uh, get out and explore their own backyards because yeah. well this is living proof that there's all kinds of stuff right around you that you don't even <laughs> know about yeah you need to get need to get somebody that doesn't live here to tell them tell you about them though. <laughs> anyway thanks for joining yeah, us yeah thanks Oops. for joining us appreciate it very much bye bye see you later